Now let's answer questions from random posts at ito ay post ni Ma'am Elsie Guevara. At ang uh, question ay, 3 cans and 3 pails can hold 18 liters of water. A pail can hold 1.5 liters more than a can. What is the capacity of one can? Ang correct answer dito, nandito na nakasulat na 2.25 liters. Ang gagawin natin ay paano nakuha yung 2.5, 2.25 liters. Now, basahin natin ulit. 3 cans and 3 pails can hold 18 liters of water. A pail can hold 1.5 liters more than a can. What is the capacity of one can? Now, if you haven't answered this yet, answer this first before you will see our solutions. Ngayon, may nabuo ba kayong formula? Knowing na ang sagot dito ay 2.25 liters. Ganito yan. Three cans. So, let C be our cans. Three cans daw. Three cans. And three pails. So, and natin yan ay plus. Three pails. Let P be our pails. Can hold, that means equals to 18 liters of water. So, 18 liters of water. 3 can plus 3 cans plus 3 pails is equals to 18 liters of water. Next, a pail, si P daw, can hold, equals yan siya, 1.5 liters more than a can. Ibig sabihin, si C plus 1.5 liters. Again, a pail is equals to or can hold 1.5 liters more than a can. So, ibig sabihin, isang can daw. So, ito, C, plus 1.5 liters, that is equals to pale, isang pale. Now, if you don't like the way I pronounce these words, wag kayong magpa-distract. Doon kayo mag-focus kung saan may matutunan kayo. Now, let's go back. P is equals to C plus 1.5. Ito, isubstitute natin dito sa P natin dito para meron tayong mga like terms at pwede na natin siyang isolve. Kopyahin muna natin si 3C plus, plus yan siya, 3, at ang equivalent ni P ay C plus 1.5. So, this is C plus 1.5. Equals 18. Yan na yung magandang formula natin para masolve natin kung ilan si C. Next, isolve na natin. This is 3C plus 3 times 1.5. That is 4.5. Then, i-add din natin si 3C dito. Kopyahin lang ba ito? Is equals to 18. I-add ang mga like terms natin. 3C plus 3C, that is 6C. Plus 4.5 equals 18. Then, 6C, itong 4.5 plus 4.5, i-transpose natin sa kabila, magiging 18 minus 4.5. 18 minus 4.5, and that is 13.5. Para mas klaro lang ha, minsan kasi may magko-comment, paano naging 13.5? Isa-isahin lang natin para hindi rin mahuli yung iba. 4.5. Kapag mag-minus tayo or mag-add ng mga may decimal number, dapat naka-align yung decimal natin ganyan. Ito, 0 yan siya. So, mag siya ng 1 dito, bali 10. So, maging 7 na si 8. Ito ay 10 minus 5, that is 5. 7 minus 4, that is 3. Bring down lang si 1. Kaya 13.5. 6C is equals to 
Kopyahin ulit natin si 6 c equals 13.5. Para ma-isolate si C dito, itong si 6 dito ay pang-divide sa 13.5. So, 13.5 divided by 6. And the answer here is, isa-isahin ulit natin. Erase muna natin to para may space tayo. Pag-divide ni 13.5 divided by 6. 13 divided by 6. Or ilang 6 ba si 13? Dalawa. 2 times 6 equals 12. 13 minus 12 and that is 1. Bring down mo si 5. 15 divided by 6 and that is 2. Ang decimal pala, huwag mong kalimutan na i-align mo sa taas. 2 times 6 equals 12. 15 minus 12 and that is 3. Magdagdag ka pa ng isa pang 0. 30 divided by 6 and that is 5. 5 times 6 equals 30. 0 na siya. Ang sagot ay 2.25. Kunting recap lang ha. 3 cans and 3 pails. 3C plus 3P can hold 18 liters of water equals 18. A pail can hold 1.5 liters. A pail can hold 1.5 liters more than a can. So C plus 1.5. Yan si pail. At itong letter P na to sina substitute natin. C plus 1.5. Itong C plus 1.5. Minu multiply natin dito sa 3 kasi 3 pails nga can hold 3 cans and 3 pails can hold 18 liters of water. So si 3C kinopya lang natin. So, si 3P ay equals to 3 times C plus 1.5. Ito, ito na yung sagot. Then, ang mga like terms si add natin, that is equals to 6C plus 4.5 equals 18. Si 4.5, tinatranspose natin sa kabila, kaya naging minus 4.5. Kasi si 4.5 pang add siya sa 6, 6C. So, pag tinatranspose siya, magiging minus 4.5. 18 minus 4.5, and that is 13.5. So, 6C equals 13.5. Si 6 ay pang-multiply sa C. Para ma-isolate natin si C, si 6, tinatransfer natin sa kabila. Since pang-multiply si 6 sa C, pang-divide ngayon siya sa 13.5. Now, 13.5 divided by 6, and the answer here is 2.25. What is the capacity of one can? 2.25